day one, you're very upset. You don't want to die. You think you are going to die, full stop. Obviously, experience and maintaining good health changes your perspective on that somewhat. Hi, I'm Nigel Deeks, um, CML patient. I was diagnosed on, in September of 2010. For two or three months, I'd basically been um, having a few night sweats, um, really quite bad ones where I was having to wake up in the middle of the night and um, so bad sort of getting out of bed and wiping myself down with a towel. It was, it was, it was so bad, really. Um, I'd also been losing weight. I play a fair bit of squash. So I hadn't really given a huge amount of thought to the weight loss other than the fact that it was just day-to-day -day life, work, and so on. And um, I, I remember one of the things that sticks in my memory very, very clearly was the ability to eat anything I wanted. <laughs> Come home at night, have a big tub of Ben and Jerry's, etc. never put weight on. So uh, I remember at the time thinking, this is quite good, this is. Obviously, without realising that I'd underlying got a health issue. 20 years ago, I'd suffered with a detached retina for no reason at all. Most people get a bang to the head or something. I, I literally was in the garden, stood up and my eye went pop. Literally, I remember very, very clearly the pop. And then over the course of a few days, I begin to, began to lose my vision in the eye, um, clouding, etc. So obviously that was fixed 20 years ago. And then when I had my diagnosis of CML or prior to my diagnosis, um, I'd had flashing in my eye for, you know, two, three, four days and realised that was abnormal, um, like little lightning flashes, really. So decided to take myself to the eye hospital. Would I have gone to the eye hospital if I'd not had a detached retina 20 years ago? No, I don't think I would have. But I think I'd probably thought I'd done something to it again. And so, uh, as I say, went to the eye hospital. But I took myself up there and... Um, saw three maybe doc specialist doctors at the eye hospital was there for a few hours and then on the way out it was a very cursory um we'll just do a quick blood test before you go the next morning turn my phone on there was a couple of messages ring the hospital first thing and then about half seven they rang me and sort of get up here not giving a thought to the department i was going to just uh, going to be told got something wrong with my eye and saw the doctor with a um, clinical nurse as well uh, basically said they'd had the blood results back thought that I'd got um, leukemia uh, chronic myeloid leukemia uh, and then spent about three quarters of an hour something like that maybe a bit more with this doctor and the nurse discussing uh, the uh, the treatments the options what that actually meant in reality 